Mark, good morning. Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning again, Charlie. I promise I'll, uh, I'll come see you one of these days, two weeks remote in a row. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, you, you do. Christine, you do, you're amazing. I am so grateful for all of you in the morning. I was listening in this morning, and uh, I heard the story about Tiffany McNeil and Buddy and Friends. Oh, yeah, and yeah. What, I want to share my gratitude for her. She is an amazing person, and I want to share gratitude for all the volunteers and angels that are helping so many of these puppies and these other animals find homes. We personally, Nurse Styles and I and family, adopted a dog from Buddy and Friends merely three weeks ago. Oh, three weeks ago? Okay merely three weeks ago so we're listening to atd because that's what we do right you listen to atd yeah and we're hearing this story and i'm st i'm looking at julie she's looking at me and saying oh my goodness we need to share the love for tiffany and her team and we have a beautiful dog athena a cuddly soul a support species and it's understandable that things could happen and some dogs are unpredictable but all of the lives that she and her team are saving and and the process by which we went through was intense rob the vetting process that tiffany and her team put us through was super intense they want to make sure that you are absolutely a good fit for this animal and it can keep it safe and keep and us be safe. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. we have this docile species who's unbelievably kind and soft, but some people want to take a chance on helping a, another animal that could have vicious tendencies and, and God bless them. But some animals can be unpredictable. And, yeah. and we want to shout out Tiffany and all of the foster parents that are doing God's work, going down to Tennessee, taking them from kill shelters simply because there's an abundance of dogs, mm -hmm. right? In going in and out of other countries because these dogs would die simply because there's too many of them, not because they're vicious. It's something that people don't really understand up here in the Northeast, but these angels understand and they bring them and give them this happiness and it's it's so nice to have folks like that out there being so selfless and and sacrificing so much for that right, so i wanted to share that what's about athena athena her name was athena yes she was named name. she was Lovely. named chrissy uh by the foster parents because they called her Pissy Chrissy. So one ah. of the things that Chrissy, oh. now known as Athena, gets excited and, and urinates. So pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but Nurse Styles, it was the first female in our home. So she was the, she got the naming rights. And with her Greek background, the goddess of wisdom, it's uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful name. Plus, it's a great Who song, too. So she's the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right well i'm glad it's working out so well a new member of the styles family athena a few weeks now well um gratitude certainly for tiffany yeah we love tiffany she's been uh, on the program several times as a guest for our pause and clause segment and as i said before you know she's passionate this is what she does and uh founder of buddy and friends animal shelter now and we want to remember that you know we want to remember that and we want people to keep doing wonderful things and you know we can't have little speed you know things slowly people down and it's amazing tiffany how you're getting in front of it we got an email from the organization right away because we signed a contract we signed a contract that says you know we will go back to tiffany first if it's not working out so thank you tiffany and team we really appreciate you Okay. Well, we wanted to mention that right off the bat, so thank you for that, Mark Stiles. And also, um, before we get to the topic, which we do want to take some time for, uh, we also want to be grateful for graduation season. This is very important. Mm -hmm. High school, colleges, we're seeing all these great pictures. We're seeing, you know, clapping as uh, students are going up and uh, getting their diplomas and all the uh, wonderful inspirational speeches. Uh, Mark, have you done a graduation commencement speaker yet? 
<laughs> not not yet rob thank right. you i appreciate you very much um yeah get those mental polaroids as they say take it all in and enjoy it and be safe you know grad night live volunteers another shout out grad night n-i-t-e live.com still seeking volunteers keeping people safe be safe these weekends coming forward oh mark Mark, do we got you? Mark Stiles of Stiles Law and Route 139 in Marshfield uh, coming in remotely with us. I can't hear him. His signal seems to have uh, popped out, Charlie. Uh, we'll try to get uh, Mark back as he uh, reconnects here. Um, you know what I'll do is, uh, oh, Mark? Is that Same you? exact time last week, I guess, is, uh, is when we, we tuned out. But, okay. yes, uh, enjoy it all. Be safe. Memorial Day weekend also, folks, let's be grateful. The memories is one thing I want to say, Rob, before we get to the question is yep. um, somebody said something really profound to me recently, and um, and it's it's really pertinent to Memorial Day weekend, and, and that's that we have two deaths. We have our earthly body, so we die, right, as we know, but then we die again when the last person mentions us by name. So let's keep those memories alive of all of those folks in your life. Keep it alive. Let's talk about them. Let's remember them, and let's keep them alive. Mm -hmm. It's so, that's so important. It's so true. You know, you think about all the the names and the memories, and keeping the memory alive, and um, thinking about uh, going to all the different cemeteries as well, and spending some time there as well.